Hi there, my name's Pete and I play guitar. Danny Baker, who is a UK TV and radio presenter, he said he was the architect of progressive rock, and I can't, I can't disagree with that. You find musicians that are just determined to do things their own way, they break the mold. And I think Peter was one of those. Well, I first saw Peter Banks at the Marquee Club in London in 1966. And, you know, that mix was magic. We came out on stage uh, and we looked down and uh, the four Beatles were sitting in front of us. Great guitarist, I think, tremendously underrated. He had this kind of um, real freshness and kind of naivety in a way. It was quite beautiful. His stuff is so memorable. I know, I know it by heart. Peter said, uh, why don't we call it Yes? And we looked at him and said, the Yes? And he said, no, no, Yes. Back at Melody Maker office, discussing who was going to be the big new band of, say, 1969, while well, Led Zeppelin, obviously. But the other one was Yes. And I just went, that's a hit record. That was the first thing we did, and it all went downhill from there. To this day, I don't know what happened. To my horror, I heard that Peter was no longer a member of Yes. He got shit on a lot of times by people. I was living in, in, in a flat in Victoria in kind of abject poverty, and, uh, and I just thought, I'm, I'm going to go to America. So I went to Los Angeles uh, with one guitar and a suitcase and two phone numbers. Depression in those days was being browned off. The table had been flipped over with all these bottles of wine and everything broken. All the guests that we had from the record companies had all left. And Peter was on stage and I walked over and I said, what the hell happened, you know? And he said that he had been diagnosed with being bipolar. We were last with Peter. He gave me this box. Never opened it. It's definitely tapes. I was basically questioning why Peter Banks wasn't included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I still send letters and I hear from nobody. I've just disappeared. It'd be better for everybody if I really did just disappear. The thing that happened with Pete was there was nobody to claim the body. 